Hey, this is Vetty Dude, and I screwed up big time. Let me explain. Yeah, so guys, hell up, okay? We're just gonna have a quick new minion orientation. Now let me stop you right there. Because I made a big mistake. You see, all of the episodes for Chapter 4 were recorded back in early July. You know, I did them all. I edited half of them. I edited up to 4-2, and then I stopped. And I'll be like, oh, I'll edit the rest of the chapter later. Uh, then cut to about mid to early August, and I decide to clean out my PC and get rid of some files. So I go back and delete a bunch of old footage from, uh, like, old, old recordings of older videos. Like, I still had stuff on my computer all the way back from the Superstar Saga experience. And even though that released in July... All the recording was done in April. So, yeah, I, I had a lot to clean out. And apparently, I made the mistake of deleting the rest of the Chapter 4 footage. I don't know how I did that. I mean, because I was making sure I was very careful with not deleting videos I hadn't edited yet. I just specifically deleted the Paper Mario videos. And that kind of sucks. So, to make it up to you... Uh, I believe that Super Paper Mario has a chapter replay feature. You can go back to earlier chapters and, like, you know, levels in a chapter once you've completed the chapter. So right now I'm done with Chapter 4. But I will go back and replay 4-3 and 4-4. And then I will p place the Pure Heart and uh, open up Chapter 5. So that's what would end up being three episodes all into one. Which I hope I can make it up to you to the one guy who cares. But before we do that, we still have to deal with this cutscene that would appear post chapter 4. Hull up, K. We're just gonna have a quick new minion orientation. His name is Mr. L, and he comes to us from one of our key competitors. Can't say I'm impressed by the minion quality. Damn, Luigi. Look at yourself. You look so mischievous. No, indeed. No wonder you've been trounced up to now. You're like junior minions. Junior, come here and I'll introduce you to Fist Junior and his wee pal Slappy. Gosh, Mr. L, but didn't you get pretty spanked too? So maybe you're the junior. Yeah, don't worry. We, we beat him up. We beat him up pretty hard in uh, in the boss battle for Chapter 4. We, we, it, it, it's like a shmup. Spanked, you say. Ho ho, I was scouting him, dear. He will be mine next time. Oh my god, Mr. L is so freaking cool. The green thunder. Yes. Indeed. But enough about me. I need to head to the repair bay for the robot modifications because I destroyed his funny mech. L. Ater. That's hilarious. Ha! The man in red shall wield formidable powers. One shall stand against it. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. So it is written in the, the prophets have spoken that Luigi will end the world. What? That makes as much sense as beef and broccoli sandwich. Alright, oh, it looks like we're gonna see our chunks again in chapter 5, but... I mean, we're seeing this a bit out of order, because this is after chapter 4. Again, I apologize for that. Okay, bye y'all, just do your outros already, and um... And then Count Black says something cryptic and sad, and then it ends. Yeah. Actually, even the red shield and the and Mr. L may not be up to this. The hero is gonna collect the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. Lehehel is according to plan. Count Black assures you. I don't know what this plan is. It's strange. Nobody ever um cherished cherished the universe the way you once did. And now you kind of want to destroy it. Yeah. That's quite enough, Natasha. If I could um. Oh, I really hope she betrays him. That would be silly. If only I could have, you know, bit that girl. Things would have been different. Cryptic lore! Guys, look, it's the cryptic lore. Look, look at it. Look at all the cryptic lore. Read it. Read the lore. She cannot be replaced. You, shouldn't, you can never hope to do so. Damn. Damn. There's something to be sure. She's gone. Um, from all worlds. Is that what you're doing? Is just to confirm that your that your girlfriend is dead? <laughs> like, I mean, you can confirm she's dead if you destroy everything in existence. 
So, well, what are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If we can't be happy here, we must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Blumiere, is there such a place? Think, I can't bear to see you hurt again. If our love is no home, let us spend our lives searching together. So I beg of you again, Timpany. Marry me. I promise I will make you happy. Is it Tim Timpany or Tiffany? Like, is there a hypothetical H after the P? Because I feel like Tiffany is a better pronunciation, but Timpany. Like, it's clearly how it's spelled. I'll try Timpany. It's just hard to pronounce. You, you just won't give it up, will you? All the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Timpany, answer me, please. Lumiere, I love you. Take me away. Take me to a world where we can be happy. It'd be a shame if everyone here died. Which they probably did. Now we've gone five for your hearts. We definitely did this in the correct order. You've got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. That said, we owe Squirps for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem a bit more cheerful. It's a nice change. Oh yeah, because we did rescue her in Chapter 3. Well, ever since you saved me from Fort Francis, see, I called it. we have been feeling really good. I feel like I can just hang around with Mario forever. It'd be a shame if she also died at the end of this game, but I don't know that. Me? <laughs> me? Me? <laughs> We're all back from the thing that definitely happened. Or hasn't happened yet. We found another pure heart. Can we... I... Urk. Oh shoot, she died. We killed... No, wait. This wasn't... I gotta go back! I gotta go back and replay chapter 4. You can't kill her. No. No, I don't wanna go... No, I don't wanna... Let's all take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tiffany may be unable to maintain her pixel form for much longer. Her pixel form? What the heck does that mean? But you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. I found her in her true form, exhausted, cursed to wander through dimensions forever. She was hanging by a thread, barely alive, so I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul into a pixel, and this Tippy was born. I can hardly believe it. So where's Tippy from originally then? If I had to guess, she's probably Tiffany, right? She lost her memory, so I have no idea who she is or where she's from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by chance. Fake and excess. My intuition in this area is rarely mistaken. Uh-oh, what's going on? The void has grown larger, and these tremors have become common, I'm afraid. Our situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written in the light prognosticus really forestall the foretold doom? Find out next time on Super Paper Mon- Nah, we're doing it all once. <laughs> I will watch over Tippy. Young heroes, take the pure heart and find the next heart pillar. Can we still go back to chapter four? I oh, that's a big black hole. I don't like the look of that. But I gotta know, can we still go back to chapter four? Because I, I need to do this. Are they still beatable without Tippy? Will it just give me Tippy back for the sake of time travel? I don't know. Let's let's go find out. Yes, we can go back. Okay, let's go to 4-3. Um, and then we'll go to 4-4. Four four. Chapter 4-3. Uh-huh. 4-3. Do we have Tippy back? Oh, hi, Squirps. Long time no see, Squirp. How have you been? What? Squirps dead? Oh, no. I was just sleeping. Let's go play again. Uh, how am I gonna tell him? How am I gonna tell him about what happened? Or how, I hope you guys already knew what happened to Squirps, so I mean... Yeah, I mean, I didn't wish it would get spoiled like that. I wish the game wouldn't have told me what happened to Squirps now that I'm reloading the chapter, but... Okay. I guess this means Squirps canonically can't die because... He, I, I have no way to put this without just saying it outright. He dies at the end of chapter four. He he dies. He kind of vomits up the pure heart and then stops existing. So, um, yeah, you know, there's that. Okay, so we need to go through the door. Oh wait, all the doors are already unlocked. Okay, this chapter is gonna be way shorter than. I thought, I guess everything's still unlocked. 
Okay, that makes things easier on myself. I mean, I'm sorry again that I don't get to go through the full chapter experience. But, uh, this was always a very short chapter. Yeah, we had to, like, make Scorp split in two by feeding him chocolate. And then let's... I keep accidentally going through doors. I'm very annoyed. And then he kind of just splits in two after you give him the chocolate. And then he fits in the conveniently Scorp-shaped holes in the doors. And then, bam! Now you got... You got... You got... You got continue... Continue with the level. And the end's right there. So, be boo bop Um... Bonk. That's one of them. End of chapter. Now, what I wonder is if chapter 4-4 will let me replay the boss fight. I, I hope it does. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll be upset. Chapter 4-4. We're back. I mean, I'm assuming all the doors and stuff will be unlocked. But it's worth a shot, okay? Let's just... Let's see. I want Mr. L to be back, because that would be cool. So I'm just, I'm worried that's not gonna happen. Even if our situation isn't perfect right now because I screwed up, which is, it's totally my fault again that this has to happen. Like, I'm the one that deleted the videos off my computer before editing them. Um, 100% my fault. I'm pretty upset about it. I mean, I guess this is just the best I can do. I can't- I, I don't think I can use Tippy though. I can't. Tippy's still dead. So, uh, I hope I never needed her at any point in Chapter 4. I can't- or 4-4. I can't remember. Whee! I still don't know- I, I, I forget where I was supposed to go. It's, it, the, the, the whole gimmick of the level was like switching gravity and stuff. Oh, it's this thing. Hi. Okay, I don't think I need to be here. I think I gotta go back. I mean, the fact that I recorded this all back in mid-July mid and it's now very, very late August, it's like the 28th. I guess that means that I'm basically replaying the chapter, so a good a, a good bonus is that I, I don't remember anything. At least that makes things slightly more interesting, because otherwise, yeah, if I knew exactly where I was going, this would be very boring. Okay, there's this gravity switching block, so surely I'm going the right way. Whee! Now we're on the roof. Now we're on the floor. I just, I still don't know if the boss is going to be here. I, I want to fight Mr. L again. But I don't know if I can. So, I'm going to walk to the right. And nothing. No boss. Come on. No! I wanted to fight Mr. L again. Well, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, Mr. L, he did a cool thing. Alright, so, since I can't, uh, really do that much about, uh, Mr. L, uh, and his epic boss fight, we're instead gonna draw his epic boss fight. So, here we are in Microsoft Paint. Um, I'm not exactly sure, I don't really use Microsoft Paint. We're gonna fill the sky, because it's in space, and we're gonna... Okay, let, let me see here. We're gonna get, like, little dots of white. Um, uh, they can be bigger than that. We can, we can have it big, like, than that. Let me see what we got. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, I'm not, I'm not really an artist, so don't mind me here. So I'm gonna draw Mario here now. With, like, the white outline, because that's how Paper Mario does his th and stuff. So let's, let's start with that first. Uh, hold on, I actually need an image. What does Paper Mario look like? Okay, okay, he looks like this. Uh-huh. Well, I can't really do the black outlines because he's in space, so I'll stick with white. He doesn't really have, like, uh, knees or anything like that. He kind of just goes straight into the body. So we're gonna, like, draw a Mario here. He's gonna look like that. That's... <laughs> gonna draw his overalls because he's got those, I think. Alright, so he's got the brown shoes, he's got the red shirt, that's a lot of red shirt. Okay, hold on, I think I gotta like, erase some things now. His overalls don't really have like, a line here, it's more like, uh, it kind of just connect with the rest of the shirt. Okay, now we're gonna put the blue back. No, that's not what I wanted. No, why is his whole outline blue? Why why is it all blue? And can we just have this outside be red? No, not his 
I mean white. No! There we go. He looks great, guys. We haven't even gotten to the best part, the Super Duper Mario buttons. Of course. You draw that. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Isn't he majestic? I spent all this time on just drawing Mario's clothes that I haven't actually bothered to draw the Mario part. So, um, let me see here. Let's just kind of give him just a bit of a circle here because I can't draw hands. I mean, I can't draw in general, and I'm also using a mouse, but... Yes. Okay. Then we'll draw his other hand. Look at him. That's Mario. That right there is Super Mario. Okay, we gotta draw his head as well. So here's our, uh, here's our boy. That's Mario right there. That's what he looks like. <laughs> and he's got, <laughs> he's got an ear as well. You can't forget that. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> Oh wait, he's supposed to, this is supposed to be like an outline, right? Oh damn it. Okay. Let's draw him. Let's draw his outline first. That is such a Mario shape right there. Beautiful. Let's give him some, uh, let's give him his iconic red hat with its iconic Mario-ness. And then we draw the letter M. That's the, the, that part. That's good enough for me. Let's draw his hair, which goes around the back, like so. Oh, yes, Mario, look at you. You're... This is exactly what he looks like in the game. Then we can draw his eyes. There he is. And then he has... Oh, wait, his nose is not supposed to be like that, is it? So what we need is for Mario to have his nose look more like this. And then... Fill it in, not like that. I should direct the next uh, Paper Mario game because clearly I'm the best man for the job. I should also do all the art. Now for the classic Mario mustache. There, there he is. That's Mario. Okay, we did it. We drew, we drew Mario, guys. We did it. And he's in space. Look at him in space. We still have to draw the boss next. Who's he actually fighting? Well, he's fighting like, hold on. He's fighting Luigi in this silly mech. Uh, so this is, this is what we gotta replicate, which is gonna be a lot harder than Mario. Hold on, can we like, can we like shrink Mario? I feel like we have him too, too large on the canvas. Can we shrink him? It's become smaller. <laughs> He's beautiful! Let's try again. Let's try again. And uh, not mess it up this time. Straight down. Or actually, if you'll... No. It's just, he's gonna look silly. There he is. And then we can fill in the rest. So there's our boy Mario. I mean, now we gotta draw the guy he's fighting, which is Luigi and his robot. So we're gonna start by drawing the general shape. And the nose. Kind of fill that in. So this is what uh, Mr. L's mech looks like. Kind of like that. We're gonna get the green cap. We gotta draw that part. There you go. Kind of fill it in. Um, oh shoot, we gotta draw the mustache. It's also, it's like a tealish color, I think. We'll just keep it like this color, yeah. So, Luigi's mustache kinda looks like this from the side. <laughs> no! 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 Yes, Luigi's mustache looking nice. Okay, now we gotta, uh... Oh wait, first we gotta draw the eye. Hold on, let me draw the eye real quick. They kinda just stares, like so. Okay, there he is. Oh yeah, he also has this weird, like, antenna thing sticking out of the back. Uh, we gotta draw that. That right there. Fill it in. Okay, what else does he have? He has, like, some weird spike. How we gotta draw, like, a weird spike. 
Like, coming out this part right there. Damn. That's our spike. Last thing he has before we get to the window is, like, some spring on the bottom. So I'm just gonna... It might actually be, like, a thing that can rust the, the ship in space. So we're just... That's what it will look like. Now we actually gotta draw the window. I mean, how else are we gonna have our boy Luigi able to see us? Of course. Now I gotta draw Luigi, which is gonna be interesting. Um, we're just gonna... We're just gonna do this. He's gonna have a hat. That's it. That's all you really need for Luigi. Um, now... Oh, I forgot. I was about to say that. Um, so this is what the battle mostly looks like. Uh, we gotta add Squirps, though. He's, you know, the little alien companion. In the boss battle, he... It's like a... It's like a shoot -em up You get to... You know, you get... You shoot the boss with Squirps, and you even get items that upgrade Squirps' firing rate and, like, number of bullets and all that. But, you know, I think we just... I think I have a better alternative. So, yeah, I, I think it's better if we just give Mario a Glock. I think it's... I think it's better that way. Uh, I think I also didn't draw it very well. But, yeah, I think it works better if Mario just has a Glock. So, yeah, this is what the... Uh, this is what the boss battle looks like. Um, we gotta put a title. Supra... Fighting with a mouse is hard. Paper... Mario. Mario. Super Paper Mario. Hey, we did it! We- look at this, it's beautiful! It's actually beautiful, what a work of art! Oh my god, it's wonderful. Uh, I did this- I did not expect to actually go through this is amazing so yeah in conclusion that's what the um that's what the chapter 4 boss looks like in the best way to represent it possible you don't actually need to look up what the boss really looks like this is, this is good enough for you oh wait no one know what the finishing touch the finishing touch you gotta like actually the people need to know that this is supposed to be squirps let me uh write here it's, it's kind of hard to write but we can do this there we go now we have squirps it's, it's, it's perfect now. Alright, so this is our official... What happened to the letter O? <laughs> Where'd it go? We'll put it back. There we go. Okay, now it's done. Look at it. That's a beautiful image right there. That is the boss fight. Uh, that's what you get for watching Ready Dude. <laughs> you miss out on the boring, on the, on the fun stuff. And you just get to see me walk around for 15 minutes. Um... I, again, I deeply apologize. I'll never make this mistake ever again. Definitely. So yeah, then in this part, Squirps like talks to the statue, and the statue's his mother or whatever, and Squirps is like, oh, here's this pure heart, by the way. Blech! And then he dies. Um, they kind of just do that for some reason. Everyone keeps dying in this game. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, anyways, I win. End of chapter! Again! Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for this specific instance. I guess it makes sense if you want to look up the chapter 4 boss fight on YouTube or something. I am deeply, deeply sorry. Now that we're done with this chapter 4, we can get back to the actual story that I will not skip or mess up. We gotta find the next Pure Heart Pillar. So, let's get to that. I guess the first step would probably be to consult the local, uh, I don't know, fortune teller. Yeah, that's the, that's the term. Hello, I'm gonna pay you good money. Tell me where to go. Ah! Hocus Pocus Focus Abra Da Abra Hullabaloo Pika Paka Puka Pika Boo Ha ha! Just tell me where to go already. See your destined path. You seek the other side of flip side. You reach the back alley through a cracked wall. Find a glowing rift and flip it with your little friend. A blue switch that appears. You hit it to open a new pathway. You flip and go forward until you find a door. Through that door you find eight odd switches. You hit each one a certain number of times to proceed. 
The number of times to hit each is hidden in the back alley you enter from. If you hit the switches correctly, something that will flex will appear. You go into it. You find yourself in a place that is strange and familiar all at once. You go to the second floor, then the way opens. That looks complicated, but I already have an idea of where to look. Remember, we unlocked, what's his name, Flip? I think his name is just Flip. Uh, yeah, Fleep. Fleep. Sorry, his name is Fleep. We have unlocked Fleep. I'm gonna just sleep real quick to restore my health. And, um, we can flip, like, rifts in the sky or something like that, so... That's the, the plan. We're gonna find one of those rifts in, I'm assuming, down, like, you know, below us. I think I remember seeing it earlier. And we're gonna just, that, that'll be the solve solving all of our problems behind the wall i think this is where i remember seeing it aha there we go okay fleet do like your one useful task Bonk. ah i see this makes sense let's flip it goes outward okay okay yeah, and oh wow, there's a big building back here. Let me let me go. Here. Let's enter the building. Oh shoot. Uh huh. I see where this is going, and I'm not happy. Okay, so I'm instead of just randomly brute forcing this. I'm gonna do what the fortune teller said and go check stuff in the back alley in order to get clues or hints, I guess. Okay, what about the sign? Eight blocks each color once. Wait, that's it? I just he, he I just have to hit each block a single time. That makes it so much simpler. Okay, I'm gonna start from the left and move to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it was that simple. It was actually that simple. That. <laughs> Alright, can we go back here? Walk through the mirror. Oh, we found something. We walked behind a mirror. Is the whole world mirrored? Let's find out. Flop sign, first floor. That's an interesting name for sure. Let's see what we're in for. Oh god, there's an entire second hub world. No! I don't think anyone lives there, but I hear voices. Oh no, there's like a whole other... No. Happened to be a best-selling novelist. Everyone's like mirrored. Lopsite looks a lot more, uh, what's the term? Decrepit. It's like a lot more. You, you, uh, I, I don't know. I, my mind is blanking. But it looks like it's kind of run down a bit. I wonder why. Oh, hey. I welcome you. You're not Merlin. I knew you would come by eventually. Oh, ho, I can see that you'd like to ask me where in the world we are. This place may seem like Flipside, but do not be mistaken. You were in flip flop side. Okay, this is like a tongue twister now. You were in Flipside, but then you flip flop sides. Friends, you are in Flopside. Yeah, that's that's where we are. Which means that I am not the Merlin you know. I am the Flopside version, a different Merlin entirely. You may call me Nolrem. <laughs> Nolrem. Okay, yeah, I guess that's Merlin Reverse. Don't you see? Ours has always been a story of two towns, but the only ones who know about this flippery floppery are Merlin and I. You seem a bit surprised. Oh, 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 there is front and back to all things young ones. Now the heart pillar is one floor up. Go and place a pure heart within it. See ya. Alright, bye. Oh man, this is still so weird. Cause it's like, I never expected something like this. Like, kind of half did, like, subconsciously, because, you know, I played Super Paper Mario when I was very young. Consciously, I feel like this idea was in my brain, but, like, 
I'm only like mildly surprised. Let's just go and put the pure heart in the pillar. Right? I thought it was above us. Oh no, this is at the top of the tower. This is, uh... I feel like this implies that Chapter 8's door is gonna be here, considering that there's like a little symbol up there for... Okay. We have to go down in a different direction. We gotta go a little bit higher, but not all the way. I feel like it's gonna be in the mirrored version of Chapter 1's pillar. Alright, here we are. Our pillar this way? Yes it is! Let's do the thing, the animation. Give it the hearts. And with the hearts, we do the farts. It, it does all the gears and stuff. All the fancies. That's the door to chapter 5, alright. Yippee. You appear to be performing your duties efficiently. Hello there, Nelrom. I got a message from Merlin. Tippy's been revived! They're waiting for you at the top of Flipside Tower. Hurry, you must go there. What was the point of knocking Tippy out in the first place? I still don't know why that happened. Like, why did she go unconscious to begin with? I, I forgot what Merlin said. He probably explained it. But what doesn't make sense is how, like, the problem was able to be solved so fast that Tippy's just back. But even from that, from, like, a gameplay perspective, I don't get why they had to knock her out. It's not like any of this changes whether I have Tippy or not. I don't know. I don't know. So while I'm walking back, that's gonna be the end of this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry that it turned out the way it did. I'm, I'm really am. I'm still very mad at myself for being such a doofus that I would delete the footage. So, with the promise that I won't make a mistake this large ever again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for actual Paper Mario videos that don't have this, you know, that won't be deleted. <laughs> and, uh... I'll just make my way to the door. Alright, so yep, there's a door. You're back. I am. I'm feeling better now. Let's get going. So we're just gonna gloss over everything. Are you sure you feel well enough, my dear? I'll be fine. This is no time to stay in bed anyway. And I... I want to be near Mario. And I will not hold you back. These good people will surely need your knowledge. Heroes, please take good care of Tibby. Alright, well, goodbye peoples, and see you next time where I definitely will not delete the footage.